Good evening. I am here. It is uh, 12.30 on Friday. Well, 12.30 a.m. Saturday, April 15th. Though it's still the 14th in most places. Uh, that was Firefield from the Rockman EXE 15th Arranged Best Track album. Uh, which I assume came out in 2016. Yeah, it did. June 15th, 2016. So it's finally here. Performing for us. Um, it's finally here. Mega Man Battle Network Legacy Collection. Uh, I got a physical copy. I did a giveaway when it first got announced. I gave away four other copies of this. They have all been delivered at this point, so I'm very happy about that. Have not received the DLC cosmetics yet for it. Uh, Best Buy will probably email that to me later this week or later next week. They usually When I got Digimon Survive, it took them like a week to get me my download code for it. It's nothing nothing major, nothing we're going to miss out on. It's just a couple of aesthetic skins. Hello. Uh, but yeah, it's it's finally here. It's kind of surreal to be seeing this, honestly. Ba Battle Network back. New Battle Network content for the first time in, in God knows how many years. Um, almost missed me, <laughs> Ephraim. So I didn't stream yesterday. Uh, I know I said I was pro possibly going to finish Metroid. It, I ended up getting caught up on some stuff, so I didn't stream. And to be honest, the reason I'm starting so late tonight is because I got a, I had a he I have a, he a headache. Like I felt like I felt great after work, and then I ate, and then I f fell asleep and didn't feel good. So it took me a little while to get going here. But I'm here. Uh, this will not be the longest. F first off, I have to leave. I have to go out tomorrow morning, so I'm not. I gotta go to bed a little earlier. So this might just be like this might be like at most a three hour stream. Um, what we're gonna do is I'm gonna check out the collections, check out the features, probably do, like, the first scenario of each of the six games, and maybe try an online battle. I don't know what the point would be, because I'm gonna have no chips. Um, and yeah, we're gonna, we're gonna just do an overview of this. Again, I've streamed all six of these games already, so there's absolutely nothing that we're gonna get, that's gonna get, that's gonna come out of me restreaming them. Uh, I may come back and do PvP on stream at some point. I don't know. We'll have to see how time works out. Uh, not today, obviously, but, like, in the future. Uh, one quick thing to note. Uh, because I've been kind of, like, out of it, and I didn't... I've been I've been doing other stuff. Uh, I didn't have time to really... I didn't have time to set up the stream for Sunday. Uh, so I'm gonna push it back again. But I promise this will be the last time. When I come home next weekend, I will absolutely be doing the end of Mario & Luigi. Uh, this Sunday, if I stream, it'll be the end of Metroid. But yeah, uh, Battle Network's here. I'm I'm so happy. Like, it's it's hard to put this in the words. Like, I'm just happy it's here. I'm happy it's got online play, and I'm happy a ton of new people are gonna experience Battle Network because this is my favorite Mega Man series, and it's honestly the series that got me into Mega Man hardcore. Cause like prior to that, I'd only seen like a little bit of the cartoon and played like two, no, like one game, and because of Battle Network one. I ended up playing through, like, all the classic games. Then I played through all the X games, all the Zero games. And, uh, yeah. Uh, will you farm 10 Sonic Waves in BM1? Not on stream. I mean, I'm, I'm probably... W what the plan is here is that I'm going to... By the way, these are both on one cartridge. It just counts as two separate games, because that's how Capcom programmed it. Um, the plan is that once I'm done showing these off, or even while I'm showing them off, I'm probably just going to... Uh, slap on Buster Max and, and just farm as many chips as I can in every game. Just because I'm, I'm in this more for the PvP, honestly. Also, apparently Buster Max does not affect you getting a achievements uh, in this game. So you could just slap it on and uh, uh, just, like, blast through enemies. Open the link below view the privacy policy. No. Yeah, new remixes. Oh, it's so good. So yeah, there's four DLC songs and two cosmetic skins for Mega Man. Um, I don't have them yet because they come with uh, they come as like a separate download code. And again, Best Buy they tend to drag their feet with it. If you remember when I got Digimon Survive, it took me a week to get Gilmon because they didn't send me the codes for it. But uh, yeah, mm, beat drop. Hey there, I'm Mega Man. I'll be your navvy while you play. Let's do this thing. 
Volume's a little low. So there's a silent mode which stops him from talking. You can talk to him with the L button, just like in game. Trading with friends is another way to become more powerful. Want more chips? Try trading online. Someone's bound to have the chips you're looking for. And yeah, they really, uh, they really went all out here. They, the menu screen, it's the OG. Yeah, it's, uh, it's Andrew Francis. I believe that's his name, right? He's the, he's voiced uh, Mega Man and NT Warrior, and I believe Battle Network Five uh, Double Team DS. But yeah, they went all out with this. They get, they're giving us a full ass PET, which isn't a P called PET anymore. The dialogue Mega Man does say pet now. Want more chips? Try trading online. Oops. Someone's bound to have the chips you're looking for. So again, split into two versions. This one, Volume One, has Battle Network One through Three. It does have all the versions of each. You press Y to switch them, uh, and you get a file for each of them. But yeah, they they they've given us a full interface online. The the whole nine yards here. Uh, let's see, display language. You could choose English, cha Japanese, Chinese. That seems to be it. So there is a small bug with one game specifically, Battle Network Six. There's the there's this thing called the Virus Buster in it, which if you see my stream of it, you'll have seen it. The thing is because the English script has different index numbers listed in it. The prizes you get from the Virus Buster are, di or Virus, yeah, the Virus Razor, Virus Breeder, whatever it's called, are different in the English version. And because of that, if, when you get to Battle Network 6, you have to, like, switch it to Japanese at that point. Otherwise, you get the, the, wor the worse rewards, because they're rewards that were cut out of the English version. So, you don't get them. Uh, main menu and network controls won't change. Set regular chip. Oh, they have some special controls. Interesting. These are both the same. Oh, it switches A and B. <laughs> B and Y. Okay. Search confirm sprint cancel. Okay, that's that's uh, that's normal. Um, set regular chip. Okay, so they so select the ZR. Navi comp code. Yeah, ZR is just select. R is jack in, jack out. L is chat with Mega Man. Set regular chip. Navi. Okay. Okay. So they have ZL and ZR set as as the select button. Start pauses and minus brings up this setting screen. Uh, move with all these screen layout. I don't. We could change this during gameplay, so we'll, we'll check that later. Why does it go small, medium, large? Okay, never mind. Filter. We're keeping that off. Uh, it looks. Uh, you know what? We'll keep it on just to show you how ugly it is. Uh, border settings. Uh, you get a bunch of different borders you could use during the game. Uh, again, we'll worry about that later. There we go. That's better, because it's, it's like I have to crank up the switch. Ooh, nice. They have, like... Yeah, Andrew Francis. Volume interest, volume 2 interesting for all the e-reader stuff. Oh, yeah, true. Um, I will be checking all that out tonight. I, I very much like these remixes. These are very good. Okay. Got our basic stuff set up here, so we're gonna start. Oh, all right. So I see, like, yeah. Gallery. Eh. I'll boot up the gallery. Nice. So we got a ton of stuff. Download yeah. chips. Can be loaded from each game's Mega Man screen. Grant you base F can only be used once. Speed SP, Fire Gospel, Aqua Elect, Wood. So apparently there are rules with these chips online. You can only have one gospel chip. You can only have one base chip. Probably bait only one bait. Well, bait. This is with the game that introduced the uh, Giga chip. So, got you Punk P, base GX. It's cool. It, again, you get the high quality art, uh, specifically on the menus. For some reason, the game, even though the games do have high quality, yeah, finally the wristband isn't useless. Even though the games do have the new text in them, the chip art is still pixelated. Which is weird, because they have high-quality art for, like, all of these now, so it's like... Okay, they could've just put these in the game and, and made it an option to actually see them on the menu like this. Nice. This chip... This was so elu... You're crispy. This, this chip was so elusive, because in Battle Network 1, there was no way to get it. Base did not drop this. Instead... 
there was a random chance that the chip trader could drop it, and I never, I never got that chance to work. But otherwise, it was a Japan exclusive chip. Gate SP. So Gate Man normally in Battle Network Two, he drops like little soldiers. The chip trader gave, gives base chip. In the original version of Battle Network One, it was possible to get the base chip from it, or so I've been told. I don't know if it ended up being true or not, but I never did. I never got it. Gospel chips. Gospel's like my favorite end boss in the series, honestly. I love his design. Doesn't sound right. It isn't right. It's just that they forgot to uh they forgot to not include like not include him in the chip draw. Because I think technically you could get any chip from the chip trader. It's this is weird because it moves in a circle, so I'm like not Okay. <laughs> not moving it right. As you can see, there is a ton of stuff here. We're not going to go through all of it, but... I, I love how they have the Operate Shooting Star work artwork here, even though Operate Shooting Star is not in the game. It's funny, too, because it's like the first stuff here in this one, in this version. Star Coliseum. Mega Man... Ba oh, okay. I was going to say, does it tell you what these are from? Clockman! So he, we, we know, we never got to see him because he's only in the DS version of one. I might stream that at some point. Spoilers. It'll only be the trip trader if you have the library entry, according to the FAQs. Oh, I thought Battle. I've, see, people told me there was a glitch in one where it could show up. Maybe I was wrong. Battle Chip Challenge N one. So this is um, that's the Wonder Swan game, which is the same as the GBA game. I've streamed that before. Yeah, there's Kai and Tur Kai Turbo Man, uh, well, Kai and, and Mary. Hey, these images. They have like, the ending images for the ending image for Lamb, but none of the other characters. Yeah, there's Turbo Man. It's Turbo Time. Ring. If there's any ROM data on that front, I would totally data mine. Hmm. What is this? Land Hikari merchandise art. Little merchandise art. I mean, I'm sure I'm sure Battle Network 1's been dumped to hell and back at this point. Serenade. Merchandise art. You know, for a character that shows up only in a single game's post-game, uh, they're, they're really popular. Also, this game does confirm uh, neutral pronouns for them, which the Japanese version kind of went back and forth on. Event art. This is some... Probably some Japanese brand or, or holiday celebration. That he has like a custom symbol on. That's cool. Event rough line art. Yeah, there's a lot of neat stuff. Look at this. Panda Gospel. There's Mega Man eating a cookie or a rice ball. <laughs> yeah, Gospel Panda. Yeah, I don't know. Battle Network Team homepage art. Yeah, it's, it's cool stuff. It, it, it's pretty cool. Like, again, I'm not going to show off everything here, but that's, that's, what was that? That was mystery data, Understood. right? Yeah. Art gallery is more for the main games, okay. if I'm not mistaken. And there's a lot here. Like, there's all this, and this is just Battle Network 1. <laughs> that's interesting. I thought that art was from the later Battle Network game. PCs, there's Higsby. Navi symbols. Oh, that's cool. Having a nice clean reference for those. Battle Network 2, which is my favorite. This interesting back shot of base. I've never seen this before. I didn't know that's what he looked like on the back. And this Navi symbol, which has like a huge, a huge gash across his chest. Again, it's it's there's so much like little, little details of all these characters. It's so cool. Here's him. I'm assuming this is pre- uh, pre-Battle Network, because there's a whole thing with him, uh, with his story, which, again, streamed all that before. That's cool that they even have that. They have, like, a pre, like, internet issue, uh, whatever, incident. Weird that it's in Battle Network 2, though. You would think that would be art from 3. Alpha Abandoned Design. That's cool. It looks like the en one of the enemies from uh, Mega Man Zero, instead of uh, instead of just a big blob like it is in the actual game. 
Again, it was so cool. You're, you're literally fighting the internet. The beta internet. Mistman, who I've... I've played white, but I barely remember anything about Mistman. I've, I've mostly sticked to blue, which has Bullman instead. <laughs> Yeah, I've seen a lot of these of this beat. With the Navi customizer, they added uh, the other, like, helpers. Beat, Rush. I think Tango, too. Is Tango? Yeah, there, there's Tango. I used Battling the 90s Internet. Yeah, no, Alpha is literally the beta, like, the prototype of the Internet. In Japanese, it's actually just called Proto. See, so yeah, Tango, people were surprised. I, I went to an N1 GP tournament back before, uh, the, back before the pandemic happened. And it was like a big meetup in New York, and it was like the first, it was like the last time they did that. I participated in a Battle Network 3 tournament that was streamed, and I think people were kind of surprised I was using Tango during it. It was really helpful, too. It gives you a nice HP boost when you're getting your ass kicked. Shadow style. I don't think I got that in my playthrough of 3. I actually don't remember what style I got when I streamed 3. But I think I only got one. I think I got one and I stuck with it. It's Battle Network 3... It takes so long to, to do the... the uh, It takes so long to do style stuff in 3, because you can only hold one style at a time, and once you have it, you have to level it up to get programs out of it. So it's uh, it's kind of a pain, especially since Battle Network 2 lets you hold two styles. But uh, the upside with this is that now with the online mode, you can trade the styles. So you could trade a style with a friend if you want to get like another one quickly. I think they have all the rough drafts, too. I mean, I think I've seen a lot of this because a lot of this is in the art book. And I have the Battle Network art book as well as the Star Force one. Santa Claus. Communism. It's me, Mr. Famous. It's just famous. It's... it's. I, I, I don't get that at all. I don't get that running gag in Axis at all. It's like, why, why does he keep telling him to call him Famous when his name is literally Mr. Famous in, in the games and he calls himself that? Moru, best boy. It's, it's like that reverse. It's, it's, it's inverted. So I said this a bunch, but he's got that little symbol on his chair. Let's think about how he's named in Japan, yeah. And look, look who else has that exact same symbol. I've, I've been saying it for years, but Serenade is Momoru's Navi. Or at least belongs to Mamoru's family. View trophies. Online battles award, no trophies. So yeah, you don't need to do online at all to get these trophies. Use them if you got them. Use a download chip for the first time. Use the music player to listen to one or more songs from each game. Complete Ma Mega Man Battle Network 1, 2, and 3 to the future together. Oh, I like that name. Want a ROM hack Serenade to throw ice balls. <laughs> nice. Lynn, remember that chip you gave me? Well, thank you. So what? Now I'm using it to kill you. Take part in more than 100 battles. Locked. Use the chip trader 30 times. I'm, I wonder if you could cheese that out in one by uh, just resetting, since one doesn't save when you use the chip trader. Feed a virus for the first time. So yeah, it's a bunch of achievements. Um, again, enabling Buster Max mode does not disable these, so it's easy to. it's very easy to farm these out. Complete the Return My Gem quest in Mega Man Battle Network 2. Stealing's wrong, right? Ah, uh, Prism. None of the- apparently none of these are missable as well. These are all, uh, complete Mega- wait, really? Oh, wow, you have to do both- you have to do every version of both games, huh? To get all these. Understood. Up. Yeah, wow. Obtain the S license, complete. So there's one for getting the S license, but not the triple S license. Successfully activate a program advance. Use a shadow style in Mega Man Battle 3 Blue. Use ground style and, and white. Shield style. Team. Oh, so you actually. There's, there's one for getting every style. Oh, this is interesting. On your first S rank in an in game battle. Okay. Fire all chips, including download chips in Battle Network. Fire all addresses in Battle Network. So, yeah, this game, this is going to keep people busy for a while if they want to 100% it. Okay. Repeat. 
toggle, repeat track, repeat OST, repeat all. That's, that's cool. You can pause it. You can set the background music too, which is neat. Me thinking that's potato chips. <laughs> The level of interactivity is very neat. What game are you gonna play? Tr yeah, I got a trophy. You can connect with a net battler on the other side of the planet whenever you want. I feel like the volume's kind of drowning out the voice just a tiny bit. What game are you gonna play? All right. So we checked out the features. Let's actually check out the game. <laughs> uh, we'll turn Buster Max on when we get in. Bring up the main menu at any time. Press minus to bring up the in-game options. All right, let's go. See, so yeah, you can see the title screen's very, very nice and high def now. You get a custom border. Okay, that's cool. Well, you could lower the resolution, which I don't get why you'd want to. Yeah, that, that's that's like playing a PSP game on my television. I have a question. Why this series of games? Why release these in particular? Because, um, they're, I mean, Capcom's doing all of them eventually. They've done all the classic series at this point because they've done classic uh, X, Zero, and ZX. So at this point, it's Battle Network, which they just released, Star Force, and Legends, and then they've done all the collections. Right, let's make this largest. There we go. So you can't see the whole border, but you still get something. Capcom. So, well, I mean, Capcom's been doing really nice with their releases lately. That's kind of creepy. The, the elect man staring off the side there is a little weird. I don't like that. <laughs> yeah, you get different borders. It's cool. It's cool, cool. Maybe, uh, <laughs> the menu is, like, balanced differently. So, uh, alright, so first off, this doesn't look that great. <laughs> this is with the filter on. It smooths it, but you can still see there's a lot of aliasing, and also it's just, like, it just looks like a smear. Yeah, the font is, uh, is not great. They replaced it, the Japanese font looks fine, but, like, the English font... I don't know. This is a gripe I've had since the first trailer, and I thought this was just placeholder font. Yeah, it's a little bit courier new. It's not good. And they didn't change in the translation either. Like you could see, they didn't put a space after the comma. They just copied and pasted this entire script. All the all the typos are still here. As an artist, it's wrecking you, yeah. Oh, uh, sleep. So, uh, it's Battle Network. It's certainly in... in a higher, uh, definition. But man, this, this filter is just not... not doing it for me. There we go. Nice and crispy. It... I mean, I, I could see why some people might like the smoothing. It's not... it's not the worst effect, but... it's literally the same effect they've had in every Mega Man collection up to this point. And it's never looked great. It looks worse on the Mega Man X games than it does on this. I'll say that. Just read this game's files contain the old ROMs, but it's not an emulator. It's simply pulling assets from the ROMs. Yes. Well, the big thing is that these are all Japanese ROMs, including, like, Battle Network 6. So all the content in this game are from the Japanese versions. And what it is is that there's just the English uh, translation overlaid onto it. It's like how, um... It's like how Mario 64 works in Super Mario and in, in the uh, 3D All-Stars collection, where it's the Japanese Shindo version, but they just overlay an English script on top of it. That's pretty much exactly what's happening here. Crispy or bust, yeah. I mean, I could see I could see playing it in this at this size with the crispy pixels can be distracting for people, but I mean, for me, who's used to seeing it, 
It's not your PET or pit. I'm gonna keep saying PET. I know it's officially pet now, but I'm gonna keep doing that. Press plus to see chip data and read mail. This looks weird. Did they like they like upscale the like this looks different, but it looks squished. Whatever, the menu gets better in the later games. Here's a present for you, cross gun C. So this is the new thing. If you've picked the network, it takes you to a new menu. It's like if you pull assets from a ROM for the Mario. Yeah, exactly. WWW crap. Please select a region to use your network features. You can change regions at any time. Select region. You may only battle or trade players who have selected the same region. Okay. So you're not limited to it. You can just change it whenever you want. I don't know why anyone would not choose worldwide then. <laughs> Thanks for the basic chip, Dad. Yeah. I used to seeing Crisp T Bat. Seeing it the smooth is freaking you out. Yeah. Rank E. Cross gun? Nothing. Apparently there's no way of really communicating with other people in terms of telling you what they what you're looking for. So if you're gonna trade publicly, just get re it's essentially wonder trade. You're just uh, you're just looking for whatever. If you trade privately, then it's assumed you're talking to someone elsewhere. Room code 91 K E C Q, okay. Rank chip ID, okay. That's interesting. Net battle. Uh, we're, we're not again. We're not going to do any of that right now. But yeah, the network screen takes you straight to the multiplayer. It's really good, really smooth. There's no crossplay. It feels like the online for this is very fragmented. Since there's multiple lobbies for every game. Yeah, it's it's they did what they could, but like it wouldn't make sense to be able to trade chips between games, obviously. And because the mechanics work a little differently between each game, they had to keep it split. That and and apparently um apparently each version of the games is scored differently as well. I do wonder if you could wonder trade chips. I mean, you pretty much have to, because if you do an online trade, you can't, you can't with a random person, you can't communicate with them. Uh, what am I looking for? Oh, Mega Man option. Is it, was it always that high up? I guess it was. So yeah, we get the pixelated uh, artwork on here. Uh, except the, t the, again, the text is all... It, like, they read- they, they made this text up here, like, nice and high def. But then you have this, and it's just like, why are we using Courier? Also, sad- sad K. Sad K. Actually, I like this. Sack. I'm pointing to- pointing to Chaud. He's real sack, alright. Sad K. Uh, the only other difference is because this is based off the Japanese version, uh, Battle Network 1 and again, this is just purely visual. Battle Network 1 in Japanese, the elementless uh, symbol is a slash instead of a dot. Uh, that's changed in the, in the future games, so it's normal in every other game. But because of that, and because this is based off the Japanese version, uh, it just shows a slash instead of a dot. Uh, library. It's my status. So here's where you get the download chips. You hit X. And you get taken to this, and then you load the download chip. Use them if you got them. Oh, and you actually just get the trophy for downloading it. Download chip has already been done. It can only be done once per file. Again, if you start a new file, you can get it again. There is explodes on entire area too, so <laughs> 200 damage. And there he is, at the very, very bottom. <laughs> to be honest, they could have made the chip art high, qual high quality like a network transmission. Well, here's the thing. They do. They did. Like, look. Actually, trade on a local network, chip trade. Like, look. This is, this is very high quality here. 
They use it on the menus and in the art gallery, you just can't use them... Also, that's the other little weird misstep here. Not only is this art only usable in the network me menu, you can't actually see a gallery of these high-quality uh, illustrations, even though... Even though every single chip in the series has been redone with the with these with this art, like every game has has art like this for it, but it only shows up in this menu specifically. Like the, they very specifically marketed this as like you could trade chips with high quality illustrations on it, and it's like really like I just don't understand like a lot of weird little little missteps leading up to this leading up to release here, but it's it's mostly good. I'm not here to I'm not here to, to scrutinize the game, the the collection for being a little a little not like the best. I'm just happy it's here. Cuz the alternative was we never get these again. Wasn't there a chip in there? It's not. I I never lands secret tools are hidden in here. Like what is he what's what does he have that's secret? Oh wait, no, the chip is in my uh is in here. In my breakfast. We have 10. Dog no. Yep, there we go. Dog no. Forbidden scissors N30. Hey, lie, yeah. Squirt gun apparently. I was used to think this pot looked like a hate looked like a halo. I'd stand like that. Ant lands an innocent boy. Apparently, there's a glitch exclusive to this collection where you can like make your head clip through someone's feet. Breakfast is on the table. You have time to eat, and here's our first. Uh, Here's our first typo. No, I'll be late. <laughs> cheese in the sink. Oh yeah, that does look like a piece of cheese. A squirt gun, apparently. Yeah. Yeah, like I said, none of the typos are fixed. They're all ported over. So we have like that with the with the head with the wrong character head. Again, I think my plan for this is um. Blast through every, like, skip every cutscene, uh, enable Buster Max, and just grind chips, and just get to the end so I can play multiplayer. They could have fixed B and Force text, I know, but they chose not to. Two sections of fridge. Wait a minute. Isn't that just the freezer? Look at that, like, he's too big to be in elementary school. That is short for personal terminal. So, the back of the box for Battle Network 1 specifically says that a pet is a personal exploration terminal, and that term never comes up, ever. It's apparently just completely, uh, completely, complete bullshit. Dr. Yasu's Guide to Virus Busting. There's a chip in one of these desks, right? Or maybe not. Maybe that's, uh... Maybe that's Battle Network 2. There's three sections. Oh. Plus the freezer. I didn't notice. Ding dong, bing bong. Box of dirt near the windows. They're keeping, uh, earthworms in there, I believe. Blah, 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 blah. Again, I, I've, I've streamed all these, so I've read all this dialogue before. <laughs> Land, jack in with R. Also, because this is the Japanese versions, Battle Network 2 and 3 do have their jack in animations restored, as does the Navi Customizer animation in 3, which were all originally removed from the English version for space constraints. Unfortunately, you cannot skip these. Again, nothing sh it's nothing's changed. Another box of dirt in Land's room for some reason. Wait, I gotta look. I keep wanting to hit hold down ZR to speed this up because I think I'm playing an emulator.
Miss Mari, what's this about using chips? Miss Mari, I thought you can only use the same chip code. How Land forgets this in every game. Even though he's not the one who said it now. Anyway, Mega Man ice these guys. <laughs> Amazing. Wait a minute. So now wait, if I if I beat these guys without Does it skip the tutorial? Yeah, it does. <laughs> there's more there's more dialogue cuz you're supposed to wait a turn without this combo's great with Gregar, by the way. Really? The Buster Max? Oh yeah, because it affects um, it affects the shots. Honestly, it probably combos better with Falzar, because then you're doing 100 damage on all three rows at once. And it's also... The other thing to remember about this is that it's 100 times whatever your attack is. So, if you want to make a really good Buster Max playthrough, you that means that you want to get upgrades for the attack. And speed. And you don't have to put anything in charge at all. So here's here's a fight that doesn't use it, it's it's the only time you fight a boss with the, oh my god and it's the only time you fight a boss with the normal battle music I believe so yeah Buster Max does a hundred times your current damage so my Buster does one right now and now it does a hundred be turned on at any point and it, it can be turned off during battles like on and off during battles itself anyway here's base. Two hundred damage to every panel. I keep hitting select, but that's the select button. <laughs> I'm hungry. Let's have a snack when we get home. Hey, you don't eat? Oh, yeah. I have a chip stank in BM1. Yeah. The other thing with BM1 though is that there's no multi-hit and everything freezes the screen. Uh, so yeah, these boxes of dirt, yeah. Weird bugs. Fifth graders are studying ants for science class. Ants. Frog in that cage is looking at me. That's not a cage, it's a terrarium. You can jack in there. It's pretty funny how... Man, you got mail. ACDC town density. The phrase, the density, like uh, thing, doesn't come up very often. Land, yeah, he's over there. He's only eight years old. I skipped a grade. My family has some has some money, and I know about a lot about pets. I'm not very good at gym class, though. Yeah, Ayano Koji. He still isn't home yet. Here's these empty houses, which you never go into, ever. No one's home. No one's lived here for years. Imagine they're just being... It's like real life. No one can afford a house. to what will be the new subway station. Actually, wait, I want to see something here. I go back into school. Oh, wait, no, I can't. Okay. There's a very slight, and I think it's more prominent once you go in online, but uh, apparently the music doesn't Apparently the music doesn't actually stop abruptly to go into the next song. There's like a slight fade out. That being said, there was a day one update when I when I just started this, so maybe that fixed that. I'm not sure. Net safety. Hello, we think that Linus might be responsible for the accidents. We're checking every home's control panel just to be safe. Man, let's get on the net. 
You're in the way. Why don't you go play in your room? All right, I can't just farm chips, huh? I'm gonna have to go into actual tor tor terminals. Um, there's no way to turn off virus encounters, which is kind of the biggest misstep with this game. Uh, they really should have, like, put that as a quality of life feature into it. And there's no way to run, either, from these fights. I think they fixed it, because they said that, like, um... Yeah, it seems, it, seems, it, seems, it seems like the music's working fine. Now, apparently, people who were playing this early said that there's, like, a fade-out effect on the music. And, like, when you got, like, the short victory theme, you would never actually hear the whole thing. Thought there were Metor 2s in there. There probably were. I just didn't stick around long enough to find out. Oh yeah, there is a terrarium up there. I don't know. I guess land has a bug or something. This game is a weird thing in uh your in your dad's PC. Isn't there like um it's like a machine that just lets you randomly fight viruses, isn't there? Like why would you need that? So get ready for the worst part of Battle Network 1, uh the internet. This place sucks. Glide with the Y. Gets changed to an I in later games. At the I. Yeah, that thing is weird. Apparently it scales according to your level, but you never noticed it. Hmm. Yeah, I want to yeet that font so bad. Yeah, I know, it's terrible. I, I hate it. I hate it too. It's not good. So I'm noticing that even with the Buster Max, apparently it's, um... It's not very good at getting ranks, because using chips, I think, kind of has a higher priority. Like, I think if I rush up with Steel and Sword, it's better. Also, Steel is... it's, it's called Area Grab. For some reason, this game calls it Steel. No, it's still 9. I don't know. Yeah, but the, the two other... Quality of life features I would have added to this game are um, virus avoider and like a zenny multiplier, so that you get zenny more easily or something. Because you have to do a lot of money grinding in this series to get everything. Awesome operator. Thank you, it was so hard. It is a little jarring to see, um... To see, like, the high-quality text on, like, the, the victory screen, while still also having the pixelated graphics. It's, it's... It's a little, it's a, like... It's ungraceful. <laughs> this game, this, this, this... The way this collection was done is like... It looks nice, but it maybe could have looked a little nicer. Because, I mean, like, you have all this up here, which is clearly, like, nice and smooth and higher resolution. But, and then you have Get Data, which is, like, pixelated. And then you have the Courier new font as, like, the unlocked thing. It, it, it's a mess. This screen is a mess. <laughs> That's what I'm gonna say. Uh, you can fight V2 Navi there later. Again, the biggest downside to this game is just there's no run option. The random encounter rate controls the flow of the, of the game, which is not great.
could use this mess of chips I got here, or I could just do this the easy way. You shouldn't run because you need 10 copies of a chip, yeah. <laughs> Bad chip. Yeah, in Battle Network 1 and 2, there's an escape chip. But Battle Network 2 also just lets you run normally. Honestly, I, I would say that the the strategy for this game is probably... Something's fishy, damn it. Strategy for this game, get as many escape chips in the folder as I can. And then, uh... Just Buster Max everything. Thankfully, you don't really need an S rank to get chips, especially in this game. You just... A, a 9 rank is usually good enough. Cannon D. Is Cannon C? You can only buy Cannon C, right? Cannon C doesn't drop from enemies. Also, something unique to the earlier Battle Networks. Actually, I don't remember if it's in 2 or if it gets removed starting in 3. Uh, Mega Man can't charge his buster at the beginning of the game. You need a charge level of at least two to charge. In Battle Network 1, like, one a one charge is literally, literally nothing. In... I, I don't remember if it's in two... Well, we'll see, because I'm going to switch to two, two once I, uh... get to the end of the first scenario. I forgot how long it takes to get to the first dungeon in this game. Starting with charge shots and three onwards, yeah. All charge does is it raises the speed of charge. Going all the way around there, it's probably quicker to just jack out and jack back in. So Battle Network 1's internet is a mess. I, I do not recommend if you're new to this series. Um, I mean, if you're new to this series, start with... Uh, you should play them in order, but... Just keep your expectations low on one. If you want to skip it and move to a different game, I absolutely... It's fine. Do that. I almost feel like we should have gotten OSS. Yes, I agree. Wholeheartedly. If we had gotten Operate Shooting Star instead of the original version of one, it would have made so much more... It would have been so much better. I can understand that maybe not making sense, because then it's like people who are picking it up will be like, who's this other Mega Man that's showing up at the very end? But, uh, yeah, the, the quality of life features from Operate Shooting Star would have been, well, nice. I've never played Operate Shooting Star. I've only, uh, I've only seen footage of it. Saved. Zero progress at this point. Okay. It looks about the same. Yeah, save it. saving the first game is very quick. You just pick it, save complete, done. You're done. Get out. Oh, there's Cannon C. God, I remember having to buy power ups in the first two games. It's funny because two is my favorite, and I still don't remember buying power ups. I mean, consider it disappointing, but I expect it fixes to be in one's bad stuff and better music, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Lost program. Go tell Glide. He's in the eyes portrait. So, by the way, this is Internet 1. It's the least confusing area of the game. There are 16 of these Internet maps. And they get progressively worse and worse. Also, love how, um... I love how you can't go to Internet 2 because Dex somehow has, like, blockage on it.
Something interesting, interesting to note about Buster Max is that, uh, it does, because it does a hunt, since it does at least 100 damage, it does do flinching to enemies. Like, when I use it on a, on a boss, you'll see they, they have invincibility frames afterwards. Spread her eye. I'm hungry. I wonder if you have any cheesy poofs. I always found that line to be very silly. Also, Battle Network 1 only, if you look right there, there's like a little bird on the balcony that flies away. and I have multiple L's. She's trying to make hotcakes. Oh, yeah, right. This this does have three sections on it. You, like I can't. Yeah, I can't. I can't observe that because the oven's on fire. What I'm thinking this is, it's it's a crisper, a fridge, and then a freezer. Normally, the crisper is just inside the fridge part. Just put water on it. Yeah, I don't. Very silly. Also, here's the song we just heard at the beginning of the stream. There's a glitch, so apparently this gl the glitch does not work in this version, they fixed that somehow, but uh, Battle Network 1 and Operate Shooting Star have a glitch where you can warp to the end of the game. Not from here, oh no, it's not from here, it's from the spot at the end of the game, it's actually from the end of the game, because you, you go to like a, all, like an, a best of dungeon at the end. I'm an idiot, Never mind. <laughs> but use it, this, this mechanic here allows you to warp to the credits if you use it properly later on. Piece of time now. So, Battle Network 1 has purple mystery data, and it just gives you an item, but I think it, what it is is it's just like the dungeon equivalent of a blue mystery data. Here's a blue mystery data. Never mind. I, I don't know. I don't know what the significance of purple mystery data is. Again, you don't get to hear the music, so does Andrew speak to us while we play? Uh, actually, I don't know. I was told he comments on gameplay, but... I don't know. Let's see. Save? screen. How about a change of pace? No, he does he does say stuff. What game do you want to start? Every time I jack out, I think about how relaxing it is to be inside the pack. Yeah, there you go, pet. Also, it does it does in fact tell you if you're in progress or if you've completed the game by beating it uh, underneath. Take it away, operator. His, again, his voice is a little low compared to the, the sound effects and music. Yeah, it's pretty seamless. It's 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 pretty quick, almost. Uh, pretty quick, like in purple flavor. <laughs> 
apparently what he says uh, depends on the time of day, too. Like, if you're playing, like, right now, there's a chance that, like, he'll be like, Oh, wow, you're, you're up late. Or he'll tell you good morning if you, if you talk to him in the morning. Also, if you don't t press anything for a while, he apparently, uh... He apparently does a couple of, uh, idle responses. Oh, green, right. It's been so long, I forget where to go. As if he was really real, yeah. Avenger, my personal digital assistant! Did I make a T again? Press and hold it? With this ice block, you can extinguish seven fires. Delete the master virus. Eh. I forgot about this. This is like a little, like, oh, you have to interact with the real world. go. Warning, this water gun is not a toy. Someone's locked the door. Fire's gotten a little better now, but you can maybe put out the one that's on the floor. That would help. I also find it kind of fucked that Mr. Match is like, I'm gonna kill these people by burning them to death. When the whole point of this wasn't even to get to burn, to like kill people, he was there specifically to get the super program out of out of Doctor Hikari's oven. Which why I don't know why he put it in there in the first place. That's why the oven is so good. Shotgun Q, Kutaro. Every time I see the letter Q, I think of that. That, that fake name Jotaro uses in, in Stardust Crusaders. Best chip in the game, the oven here. Yeah. Okay, I'm spending way longer on one than I wanted to. I forgot how long it takes to get to this point. presence over there. Is there nothing there? I guess there's- I guess I got everything here. This, uh, this dungeon's a lot smaller than I remember it. Those enemies are annoying. If you stand still, they just move to a different row. Getting their chip early is, uh, very much worth it. God, getting Omega rank in this game... I can't imagine... ...doing so many battles in this. Also... Man, I, I hope it doesn't take, like, a million battles in each game to get to Omega rank, because it's going to be a lot of grinding. <laughs> this game is so slow compared to, like, literally every other one. <laughs> Ooh, was that normal? Is, there, is, that, is that, like, a little... Like, unstable positioning normal there. <laughs> I 
get our chips ready. Yeah, no. Battle program. Wait, battle program set. Anyway, haha! -ha, yes, we've already succeeded. Fuck you, Lan Hikami. Oh, come on! Just a little, just a little bite with the Y at the end. Can I record? Yeah, you can. Okay. Snack, it's there in the oven. They were turning out so well, and now they're all burnt. I'm tired from all this excitement. Why don't you go out and play? Come back and rest later on. Don't think it'll catch fire again. Maybe. Something in this pot smells really good. Yeah, that's, uh, that's Battle Network 1. Just, just as I remember it, jank. No, it would be best to prank if Fireman turned out to be Water Element. <laughs> I guess? I don't know. So, what's next? Uh, okay, I gotta remember to press B. Well, next I'm gonna first off I'm gonna, up the gallery. I'm gonna switch the music back to normal here. Okay. I have, a ver I have a very interesting question. Hold on. Oh god. Oh god. It, d it does repeat. It's like it's not gonna it's not gonna play that jingle over and over again, is it? Understood. Use the chip trader thirty times. Chip trader special thirty times. First S rank. Repair a defunct vending machine in Battle Network. Find a return lost set of dentures in Battle Network. Find the money that was stolen from a bank account. Most of these are just quest related, so you just have to 100% do everything in the game. Acquire an SP virus in Mega Man Battle Network 3. Feed a virus. Activate Mega Man's humor for the first time. Visit the bug frag trader 20 times. Pick up where you left off? What game are you gonna play? Every time I jack out, I think about how relaxing it is to be inside the pack. What game are you gonna play? You just toggle that on and off in the menu. You can connect with a net battler on the other side of the planet whenever you want. Cyber society sure is something. We got this! Uh, the mail border. See, these are nice because these borders are made for the largest size. They only take up the very edge. The jack line, please. You never hear that text noise again, like ever. Lance desk hasn't been used though. 
Hasn't been used over vacation, even though vacation hasn't started, because they don't want to make two sets of variable text for this. Also, I like how between the first game and now, there's like a huge screen that they've added to these. There we go, got my panel grab. That's the battle chip I hid in my desk. <laughs> As you could tell, uh, the first two games have a very similar start. Plus in virus busting land, but your other subjects. Oh, here's a nice one. The meeting place is at on the net at the square. Enter ants. Enter ants. Yeah, enter ants. So the frog is in this one instead of this one. Nothing's being kept in this one, you think. Terrarium. Sand are able to move. So here, here, here's something interesting. The game riddled with typos. They have, uh, they have the nerve to use, uh... <laughs> To use a fancy word like ablutions or ablutions. I don't know how to pronounce it. That means bath, not that you know. Also, I think this is technically incorrect as well, though I messed that up too. Period should be inside the quotation mark. Uh. No, yeah, if it's a parentheses, the, the punctuation goes outside of it if it's at the end of a sentence. If it's a quotation mark, the period should go inside the quotation mark, and the quotation mark should end, end the sentence. Again, that's me being a grammar nerd, even though I'm not great, <laughs> not the best at grammar myself, so... My grammar's long dead, unfortunately. Something I forgot to show off in Battle Network 1, cars actually drive down the street, and if you skate up like this, you actually, like, go through it. The car will go will go into you and slide through you. Can I go into other people's houses at the beginning of this one? No. Can't. Also, convenient bus stop right here that never shows up in any other game that you obviously do use at some point. Jack in. Mom's latest challenge, the perfect cheesecake. I'm gonna keep baking until she makes the perfect one. So I like how the fridge is now beige. So if I can tell that monkey's eating something and it's getting an upset stomach. Homework first. I also got a poster of Duo in this game. So the terrarium. There's a chip here. No, there isn't. I keep thinking there's a chip in these, and there's, there's not. There's a chip on top of it in one of the games. Little monkey fella, yeah. 
So if you're wondering why Lynn has homework even over summer break, it's because this game... Oh yeah, it's it uses the, ja the jacket and font, which is a, a image, which is different from English version. English version's like a 2D image. That was a neat little, like, 3D effect. So this game runs off the Japanese school system. Uh, you could tell because Lan's in fifth grade in this game, in the first three games, and he goes on summer vacation in this game, has homework, and then goes back to school, but then doesn't go to sixth grade until the end of the next game. So it's very much implied that this is, this runs off like the traditional like Japanese uh, style of like school year, where you essentially get a month off for summer break, a month off for spring break, and you graduate in the spring rather than the summer. Oh, you can see the elementless icon is uh, back to normal now. Unfortunately, it's the same tutorial in every game. Can't skip it. works differently in 2 and 3 than it does in 1. 1, it just adds 5 more chips every turn that you don't pick one, and hit that button instead. And this, adding chips, removes the chips that you throw away, and then adds that many more back, so you get 6 more chips. So you get these 3 filled, and then you get the bottom 3 filled, and you can get up to 10. And Mega Man, I'll send new chips, they'll take 1 turn. Yeah, it'll be over by then. I like how the game's just programmed to end. Like, they did program that failsafe if you actually finish the battle in one turn. Anyway, here's the battle number two internet, which is way better. Uh, this game also introduces the PA memo, which keeps track of program advances. Viruses, more power. Oh, you really gotta go in here for every. Okay. I mean, you only have to do it for the for each chip once, and then you're done. See, apparently, online battles you cannot do. You cannot put more than one gospel chip in there. It will stop you if you try to do uh, ranked with that. Oh, these don't even show up in the library. That's interesting. It's not like the base chip. Bet they don't ban Gator. No, absolutely not. Cannon of another dimension. Hospital's breath of fire, water, electric breath, wood, breath of wood that slices. Oh, these are considered Navi chips, aren't they? That's interesting. Oops. Yeah, these are considered Navi chips. There we go. I just... I have a folder that could just... You can use the gospel chips in some crazy combo. I mean, there's a PA that involves them if you have base. These really not get added to the library? I thought they did. That's weird.
Yeah, you can trade styles as well, but we're obviously we're not getting that far tonight. Excluding download chips and some oh, so you can't even you can't you wouldn't be able to trade the download chips anyway. None of that matters because everyone could get them. <laughs> also, just notice, hold on. Bap. Press the bap switches. Under construction, keep out. Those are shortcuts. That's good. They put like a like a quick travel system in this game. But one of them is actually plot relevant. All right. So how does this work? Cover seven squares in front of where you use it. Once point out how this internet music reminds me of a Toho game, really. Uh, security cube. Cube. Oh yeah, um, I think, what is it, another week and Live Alive comes out on PC and PS4. Ah, but you didn't know about that was hidden there. A lot of people don't know about that. I got no money. Did you really start the game with no money? I thought you start with like 500 or 1,000. That's weird. If I stand back, it's not going to hit the guy in the back row, right? Oh no, it always hits the exact same squares, no matter what. Oh yeah, you can't charge either. You cannot charge in two. That looks cool. Doggo, yeah. That's the final boss of this, of this game. Spoilers. <laughs> oh yeah, so that's another thing too, if you... If, in Battle Network 1, your HP refills to max after every battle. It's 2 and on, uh, it does not. Oh, that's a decent chunk of money. Asshole spl- Rare drop from that GMD, yeah. Running, I believe, is tied to HP. The more HP you have, the easier it is to run from enemies. one hit no there's not there's one hidden in the next room that's it cross gun s also that enemy deleted thing definitely comes up a lot quicker than it does in uh the gba versions did i just get caught on something no i left go with b that was, that's, 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 there's something hidden The noise. There's a zapping two chip that you need to progress with the game, and if you don't get it when it's like easy to get it, it, it makes it, it's, it's annoying to get it later. There's one here. That's it. Bug frag. some rare stuff on me here. Yeah, that's the area that takes you to other countries' networks. Very pointless in the video. Let's 
Sorry, 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 sorry. Oh, I'm gonna hold me too quick. It's your fault for getting such bad grades. Also, you can just skip cutscenes with start. Photo square. done all sorts of info will come in. It's another new feature that gets becomes a standard later on. Uh, the board is like a bunch of message boards. These guys get angry if you talk to them from the back. If you want to shop, if so, please talk to me from the front of the counter. Oh no, they don't get angry. They just tell you to talk to them from the front. I'm thinking of Mario RPG, the first shopkeep, when you talk to them from behind. It's like, can we start this again? Start, stand in front of the counter and talk to me. You find two net dealers pretty quickly in this game. Z license. Did you give me the thing yet? No, that's after you get the Z license. Anyway, the quickest way to do this first quest is actually just jack out and then jack back in. Because then you pick up both items as you're going along to back here. Hero data is up here. Yeah. Or is that hope data? Alright, if I stand... Positioning doesn't matter with this, does it? No, it doesn't. Okay. Gospel will always spawn from the edge and hit those specific squares. So I just have to make sure the enemy is never in the back row. There's the hope data. This game has an interesting little licensing system, which... It's fun, but then when you get to the later license levels, it's all, um, it's all just waves and waves of battles that are very difficult. Especially if you play on hard mode, which, by the way, if you didn't know, there is actually a second save file for this game. If you do every possible thing in the main game, uh, you unlock a hard mode, which I'm assuming is still in this game. Hard mode does not let you use the network function. Uh, enemies do 50% more damage and have 50% more health. In fact, when I streamed 2, uh, back in 2017, that's actually what I played. Because I had never played hard mode before, so I played to, uh, Battle Network 2 on hard. And it, it was definitely, it was definitely a rougher time. In particular, getting the, uh, the B license was really difficult. Because I had, like, every chip possible at that point in the game. And those, that, that five battle stretch that you have to do is just rough on, on you at that point. Because you just don't have the uh, you don't have the HP and chips for it. That didn't sound right. Maybe it is. I don't know. It sounded like two two things overlapped there. Oh god! Even the spot down here is is that awful uh, that awful courier font. Also, you know, so I know uh, something I noticed here. Wait, what am I, whoa, 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 my data. Oh, that's interesting. Wait. Okay, that automatically enters that screen. That's cool. Something I noticed in the original games, whenever you enter the network screen, you have to save. Here, it doesn't force you to do that at all. Like, the, I'm assuming it automatically saves once you trade or net battle someone. But uh, it's interesting that it doesn't prompt you. Normally, it's like, hey, will you save your data? And if you say no, it just doesn't let you in there. Where's gate? I want to use my gate as speed chip. Playing Mega Man Star Force last year on its anniversary, and... I completely forgot that HP memories in that game. Wow! I got two of those in a row. With the, the two of the big drops there. Oh, 
I completely forgot that HP memories in, in Star Force came in t 10 and 20s. Weird. Why did it? Why didn't it go to the second row there? Hero Data is like, no, Hero Data is by the uh, foreign networks. That was it. Yeah, it didn't go to the second row there. The animation didn't. I didn't know if it actually went to that row. See, it did there. to get a the gate SP chip to show up. That'd be nice. Quake uh, chips in this game, very good. I don't remember if the uh, program advance for it is in other games, but it has one in this game. It's a single hit auto target that just does 800 damage it's it's extremely good considering the max hp anything has in this game is 2000 it worked there you yeah, know it was just that one time i used it for some reason There's, oh you can't go there yet License. Giving that presence. Chip selection system. Yeah, blah, 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 or in this, in this case, ZL and ZR. Um, it never... I don't think any game ever goes above 50 MB. So, like, anything that's 64 or higher, you cannot... Uh, you, can, you can never set as a default chip. And I'm honestly not going to set anything here as a default chip, because there's no point. <laughs> I believe this is open now. Yeah. This, this game has, like, kind of a, a cool aesthetic in some of the internet rooms where it's, like, just a clear floor with, like, neon, like, borders. It on They only use this, like, system in this game and no other ones. Or aesthetic, rather. Did I just glitch there? Did my head just, like, go... No, I guess not. Cuckoo. Yeah, message boards. These are in every uh, every game following this. There's someone on these message boards in every single game named Koetsu, and he's always like a net battle genius. And he's it, the, the running reference is that he's in every single game on the board in every single game. You actually see him in person in three. Uh, he's just like a generic, like, adult male NPC. But it's cool that they kind of keep that, like, they keep that, like, he's an actual person that exists in the world going. <laughs> you have a PC license, here's your computer passcode, mail code. Yeah, now they change Glide's name to uh, Glide with a, with an I. It's only a Y in the first game.
Males. I think this was in the original too. This isn't like a, an emulation glitch. Males shadows going over the edge of the uh, of the bush. Oh no, she might get all wrinkly if we don't do something here. Yes! Yes. Yeah, so apparently Mega Man could just install a gas sensor on, on the PET, and also this gas is just concentrated in certain spots and just will not hurt Lan if he stands elsewhere. I can't put it in because I have five Navi chips already. <laughs> like, I really need- I don't need Roll's chip anymore. You can talk to that duck. No, you can't. It has a jack and port, but now's not the time. It's also the most you see of Yai's house ever. Normally you just go straight to her room when you enter her house. Dex walked in and died instantly, yeah. Claim, claims to be made of tougher stuff dies anyway. <laughs> this music's great, by the way. This music absolutely slaps. Also, this dungeon's way more fun than the first dungeon in Battle Network 1. Yeah, BN2 is like one of the best soundtracks in general of this series. Also, look at this. Look how this text is parsed here. Friend dash D's Navi. The song sounds like, what does the fox say? I, I never made that connection in my head. Yeah, what is this? Like, why did they think they'd have to do this D's Navi? Like, why couldn't they just move the word friends down there and then put, like, two on the bottom line? Gate SP. Cannon of another dimension. It's like a hero in another dimension. Oh, it only hits one. Okay. So the normal gate chip uh, spits out like little soldiers that move forward. Gate SP is a different attack. That chip originally was like a vent only in Japan. Cuff 10 asterisk. So asterisk codes were invented in this game, and they could be used with any other code, specifically. But like, if you pick like, if I pick like sword S and then sword L, or cannon A and cannon B, then I can't pick like recov 10 asterisk. You'd have to pick either cannon asterisk or another cannon chip. But if I pick like L and L, then I could use the asterisk chip. With Limited, but also not really. Anyway, Buster Max. I love it. Wait a minute. I saw that. Hold up. I saw that typo there. Was that no was that there before?
I think we got a chip foe, V gun A. Saving, saving. Not to beat up being too and look. I mean, it should be there. Again, the script is completely unchanged. I thought the word, I thought the entrance thing was exclusive to the collection, and I booted up two immediately and checked, and I'm like, oh no. The entrance is just there. It is there. Foe. Nice, uh, missed sound effects. This is pointless, it won't hit one enemy. We miss the typos in any game besides 4 because we aren't actively noticing them, yeah. Yeah, 4's, 4's translation is, is so bad. This game is really bad with the, uh, the line, though, with having the hyphen words. Also, you know in any other Battle Network game, Clearing, like, interacting with the terminal would always make you fight a virus. It's like the only game that lets you interact with something and nothing happens. Later games will throw viruses at you every single time you check anything. I think the terminal for that font, though, yeah... We're gonna unlock the door so Link can get out any time. No time for contemplation! Font sucks. There's there's no way around it. I, I I do wish they had put a little more effort in picking out a good font for it, or maybe just redone the font in game to look better. Because that's what they did in the Japanese version. If you switch the language to Japanese, the text is like the same font as the original games. It's just nice and high quality. Instead of doing that here, they were just like, "Fuck it, pick courier." Something, yeah. Someone made a mod for Battle Network 6 that makes Glide a boss fight, and his whole gimmick is that he uses expensive chips. Like, just like in the anime. Stop. Well, because Glide's not a. Yeah, I, I, I think the. the the implication is that Glide's not a combat navvy, he's just the guy's personal butler. Yeah, I think that technically gets you a better buster ranking than using the buster. Because, uh, using chips always takes priority, I believe. Still gassy. I spoke to Yai? Um, did I talk to Yai this morning? You don't remember? I heard Yai call its fans lately. It's funny, because you don't have to talk to her. You absolutely can- I didn't talk to her. I skipped her. I only talked to her afterwards when she was talking about taking a bath. Look at that painting from Animal Crossing. 
Anyway, if you've never seen Battle Network before, uh, Yai has a, a Pikachu skin rug in her room. It's there in, uh, in all of the first three games, and then the third game. I believe she also has a pair of Mario's overalls in, hanging in the back. Rare Natopian fan. I understood what this was over here. And, like, why this is like, like... I think the implication is that these are different rooms. It's the painting and the hog, yeah. How many birds had to go naked to make this feather bed? Just one. Me. A doll of Mela Melpos. God of War. It's creepy. Even though I was looking at the phone. You could jack in, but there's no time now. Well, let's go with a capital L. Land! Darn! Blast it! He says darn now, but later in the game he straight up says damn. This game has a lot- this game in particular, Battle Network 2 in particular, has a lot of weird translation quirks. I mean, all of them have weird translation quirks, but this game- this game uses the phrase damn a lot later on for some reason. Land says it, uh, Mr. Gauss says it when you beat him. I think Land says it multiple times, actually. Battle Network 3, they use the word damnation once to uh, describe Hades Island. Reg up one, regular memory increase by one MB. But even though I know I'm not going to lose. I can tell poor parents, fork over some cash or your kid gets gassed. I can easily get, I can get an easy 200 mil. Kids for money, I can't forgive you. Sucking gas and die. That's a good line. Oh, okay. If it kills someone in the first round, there's no other enemies. It doesn't go any farther. Oh, -ho! wrecked. Way to go, Lamb! Where'd you get that chip? I can't beat Airman. Uh, unfortunately for Airman, he's very easily beaten. When the screen's scrolling, I'm noticing that in this in this collection, there's a little bit of like jank to it, where the characters are kind of misaligning on on the pixels and stuff, and that the screen's not moving smoothly. That definitely wasn't like that in the GBA version. Apparently, uh, the Final Fantasy Pixel remasters also have that issue right now. Which, if you missed um, if you missed the stream I did the other day, I actually uh, I bought the physical edition of it for the Switch. I'm probably getting it sometime early July. 
just because PlayAsia is uh, backed up with orders. I'm probably not streaming any of it right away, but if I do decide to stream Final Fantasy games, I have those versions. They're apparently good in most ways, but like some things are kind of downgraded. You missed out on seeing Moi naked. Like the biggest. Oh yeah, so uh, I was I I rewatched uh, NT Warrior and NT Warrior Axis over the, leading up to this because it was on YouTube for free. Uh, Capcom put him up. I, I mentioned this before. This guy, he just gets arrested in the anime, and then uh, here it's way way worse for him. Yeah, they blew him up. Which is funny, because if you if Battleship challenges Ken, he's still alive. Because, like, none of the villains in the series die. And they all show up in that game. That settles it. Wanna go home? I don't think you can go down there still, yeah. That's the Metro... To play from tomorrow, so let's stay home. Yeah, now you get a, an email about what just happened. There's been a reported explosion at the Metro Line's Marine, st oh, Marine st uh, Station. Apparently it was a, a small bomb, causing only minor damage. No injuries have yet been reported. No injuries have been reported, except for the dead guy with blonde hair on the ground. That's terrible! Someone tried to kill your friend with gas? Ah, whatever. As long as you're okay. You were awesome back there! <laughs> Gives you a fist bump. Or actually got away in time, yeah. Appa yeah, apparently when you actually finish the game, he's like, Way to go! You finished the game! And then he gives you like a... He gives you, like, a big fist bump or something. Or maybe the same one right there, I don't know. So now here's where things get interesting, because from 3 on, we get versions. What I want to know is... Is the multiplayer battle rank going to be the same between both versions? Or is there actually 10 battle ranks? White is better? Well, white was the default one chosen here. I argue that blue is better. Blue has more content, and I prefer Bullman over Mistman, to be completely honest. Uh, that being said, blue does have some weird changes, because blue changes the colors of some stuff. If I recall, it's just punk. It's punk and bull, man. Also, not for nothing, but... Let's be honest here. If Capcom didn't implement any limitations to multiplayer for Battle Network 3, you know Folderback is going to be the meta in it. So we're absolutely going to have to play blue to, to do well. Unless blue and white don't fight each other. Like, that's what I'm wondering. If, is it the same multiplayer rank, or is it different? So you got Mega Man here, doing, doing some stuff. Want more chips? Try trading online. Someone's bound to have the chips you're looking for. Yeah, it's a good point. They have to be able to fight and trade with each other because there's version exclusive chips. So I'm wondering if um if the ranking is gonna be the same between both though. White gives you great chips at shops, yeah. Alright, let's go. I hate the look of the lo English logo for black and for blue and white. They're so it's so weird looking. The the Japanese versions of the logos look so much better. Which I could switch to. Did I show you in the... 
error that in the blue version with the error computer. Yeah, you did. There's like one square of the uh, of blue's um, undernet computer that's colored incorrectly. I think it's colored the white version's color. One day. That's not like that in the original GBA version. There's no... They did not end sentences with quotation marks by accident. That, I think that's a new issue. That's an issue specific to this version. This song sounds like, uh, sounds like the opening to the anime. It sounds like a Kaze no Tsuki something. No, this is not, this is absolutely not in the original version, where the, these random quotation marks are at the end of the sentences. This is the game that switches the menu system. Uh, it looks pretty good in this style. Definitely looks better than the first two games. Let's say that. This game is also interesting because the key items actually have little, little graphics for them, which is cool. Also, I like the uh, email noise that they use from this game on. Yeah, this is where things get a little, little different. Punk. Get the punk out. And base GX. This is also when the chips get split into new uh, classifications. So you have standard chips, mega chips, giga chips, which I just got the base chip. And I guess some um, punk. Punk doesn't show up. No, punk definitely is supposed to show up here. I don't know why he's not for later. I actually have a clip. If you look through my clips, someone actually made a clip of the beginning of Battle Network 3 when I was playing it, but I don't think that text is there. Oh my god, Sour Cream. Hey, Meowdy. Where have you been? You've been you've been gone for a while. Are you okay? Yeah, something's weird, because I know that the, the chips that you get, the special chips you get are supposed to be in the library. I'm wondering why they don't show up there. Your death was over-exaggerated. I didn't think you were dead, <laughs> to be fair. Spins and smashes enemies. Base is secret weapon. Actually, no, you know what? I should probably keep an attack plus 10 in there. There's a very cool glitch you could do with the attack plus 10 later on. And I think it's still in this version. Sparkling Obese Starling Kappa Pride. Oh yeah, the name of the clip. Yeah, the clip always does that. Picks just random words. Kappa Pride. Obese Starling. That's me. Obese Starling. Trying to hatch an egg, which I hope is fertile. Oh, nice. Huevo. Like a chicken egg? Victories to rank up. Okay. Oh, you can, all right. You can compare. Don't know yet. Wait for three days. What's this? Yeah, no! I knew it! I wish there was a way I could, like, drag and drop images in OBS, but you can't do that. I could do it for, like, a split second. And then it, and then it goes away. There it is. Oh, it actually works if you drag a link. That's cool. Yeah, the ellipses got replaced by quotation marks, which is interesting because we definitely saw some quote ellipses in the text. The 
definitely not as smooth as uh as as uh X what is with that. Oh, is there really no one here? Line battles to save a Buster Max when a wall would be enabled again when you stop battling online. Alright, I'm gonna do casual match as a host. Aim to reach, yeah, battle match that won't affect your rank. You've been humbled in animation, and you're still training your art major. Wait, wait, what do you mean? Anima someone made an animation of you? Seemingly do sideways poses now. Nice. I really don't want to sit here for four, five minutes and wait for someone to show up, but I am very curious to see uh, how this works. No, sour cream. Don't post belly, please. It's not, not the time. I mean, I guess it's always the time for it, but... Is no one online? Legs go Hey, Hey, how you doing? What young man she was, yeah. We're just quoting all the good. The, we'll, we'll be getting to those in a, in a bit. I, I don't understand. Am I doing something wrong, or is no one, or is just no one playing online right now? Enjoying the legacy collection. I'm enjoying looking at it. The thing is, I've I've already streamed all six of these games like within the last few years. So I'm not really in this to replay them, like, on stream. I'm just kind of doing this to check it out, and then I'm going to probably do ranked battles later on when I get the ability to... Why Why is no one playing, though? Alright, wait. Maybe, uh... No, wait. I just picked the same options again. <laughs> I guess I can't find. I can't. I'm not gonna find out. Yeah, see, the ellipses here are fine. For some reason, some of the ellipses earlier got replaced with quotation marks. Getting, waiting to get to the good chips. Yeah, true. I guess people don't want to play until they have the folders ready. Oh man, it's so weird actually seeing that animation. Three in English famously only had a white screen for that. There was no animation for tracking in. For space reasons, because that animation actually took a lot of space. Also, this game changes the font of the chips to uh, the standardized one, which is nice. It actually does look good in high def. Alright, border. What border can we use here? God, that looks so weird. There's no, there's no like separation between the border and the bat and the game screen. So it's just like it just suddenly cuts off into the background. 
I'm not a fan of that. I think that could have been handled a little more gracefully. Yeah, that still doesn't look good. Like, it doesn't look good if there's space above and below the screen. Now, why could they use a nice font for the, for the text boxes instead of Courier? Yeah, I know. It's, it's, again, it's like the one thing... I mean, I have a, I have a couple problems with this, but, like, that's definitely the biggest issue I have with this, uh collection as a whole. It's just the font choice is terrible. And the Japanese font looks great. The Japanese font looks amazing because it's the actual font but like up, up like high res. It's too pointy. Ah. Anyway, you can fight with just your Mega Buster, but you'll do better if you use some chips. So just listen to me this time. Anyway, we're not going to use those. One shot with the Buster. <laughs> I think I'm gonna be doing up to the first dungeon in this. In fact, I'm probably gonna have to. It's already 2:40. I'm probably gonna have to move along here pretty quickly. Folder opening. That's different from what they called it in the previous game. We're not waiting for that. Uh oh, they're doing it again. Mail? How bad? Why? Why is it like that? Why, why are all the ellipses changed to quotation marks? And not all of them, just some of them. And look at this. This... Oh, well, you know what this is? This, if I, if I hadn't sped the text, that was probably going to be like one of those dot, like, very slow text crawls. And th the ellipses there is fine. That ellipses is, is, is figures fine, but like, other times... It's a quotation mark. Like, what? Why? What? Confusion. Yeah. Hey, Land, did you? I tell you about our chat tonight. Let's meet in the park. Wasn't everyone? Go oh, I have to talk to Mel, I guess. <coughs> oh man. I know spaces after any of those commas. Dinan. Yeehaw, yeah. He has... He has a great animation, sprite animation later on, where... 
I don't want to spoil it if you haven't played the game, but there's a point where he he takes something that he has off and then puts his hat on, and it's very done very rapidly, and it looks very it looks very silly, but also it's a just a really good animation. Speaking of, I saw a video on YouTube that I added in my watch later, like right before I started streaming, that says the an called the animation of Battle Network, and I'm very curious to watch it because Battle Network's animations uh, are in are very interesting. Like when you're in a battle and you move Mega Man. He kind of has like a like a blur effect as he moves on to another panel. Like he has kind of like a smear. So I'm interested in seeing uh, the specifics of that kind of animation and how it relates to the games and such. Sunayama is is the guy's name. You know, if I see a strange cowboy white guy walk up to me, I would look for an adult, but the people here have no danger senses. Oh yeah, no, absolutely not. I've I've long said that the people in Battle Network have lost all all common sense with how far they've 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 progressed technology. And there's no better example of that. And unfortunately I cannot show it off tonight, but Battle Network 6 is a place called Skytown. It is a town elevated several 10,000 feet in the air. It's connected to the mainland over the ocean by a single elevator shaft. A single elevator shaft that goes down to the ground. The place is kept in the sky by rocket boosters that need fuel. And there's no guardrails anywhere on the city. It's just platforms. It's just catwalks. And it's called Skytown. It's not even a town. It's like a weather controlling facility suspended in the air. It, it's so dumb. It's so dumb. Like, pe people in this universe have lost all common sense because of everything that they... all the conveniences they have. Designed by Eggman. That's not smart nor safe, no. Also, Dex rocking this awesome Mega Man Zero thing here. Even an old game stick. I just realized, too, they're, they're gonna... Even though this is on non-Nintendo platforms, they're gonna keep all the SNES and, uh... Actually, this isn't an SNES, is it? This is a, uh, an NES top loader. That's it. This is an NES version too, because look, it's got the red and the gray button, and it's got the dog bone controller. That's not a Super Nintendo. Wait until they invent F Zero. Yeah, this is a place that repels OSHA. Yeah. Side gun. Every game adds every, the first three games all add new like gun like multi-panel gun chips. Dex only plays games that have gutsman in them. <laughs> so that's like three games. <laughs> it's a GameCube in one, a GBA in another game. Is that because of you showing me this some this song it sometimes pops up in my mind? Wait, which one? The internet song? The one I was just playing in that area? Beef Stroganoff. Really? Demi Glace song. Is that spelled correctly? I, like, is it supposed to be Glaze or is it Glace? I actually don't know. No more cheese in the sink, no. realized the cake over here the slice that's missing is, is on the table I never noticed that it's demi glace okay I've never seen it also there's this thing in this game which makes I, I yeah mega cubes 
You can customize them to battle with your friends. What the hell are these? Mega cubes. Also, Lan has an actual computer, and not like a 1990s, like, prototype computer. I, again, I, how does Lan have figures of his own Navi? Like, does, does his dad get those custom made for him? Cube. Corner. Okay, getting to the first dungeon. In the, I think I'm gonna have to stop the first dungeon thing because getting to the first dungeon in this game takes a while. Because we gotta do the prelims, then there's a whole point where we have a chat, and then we have to go back to the school. Yeah, it's a lot. I'm gonna stop because we've seen it. We've seen enough of the first collection at this point. I have like less than an hour left, and I have to, and I want to do the second half, second collection. Box of dirt is gone. Yeah, it's replaced with a uh, toy car. Oh, whoops, that was. Oops, what am I doing? You would think I don't know how to play the Switch. Great work today. Yeah, thank you. So if I switch versions. I'm just curious here, because it is a different save file for each version. Marks are still here too. It's really hard to tell, but for some reason, blue switches a lot of the colors on some of these graphics. Like, I'm pretty sure those computers were not yellow up there before. Also, Mega Man's face is different in this version. His face is facing left, it's a little more dynamic. And the menu is gray instead of blue. Okay, so you could still you could still do download chips separately. No new data was received because <laughs> we both we both just started the game. But I am I, again, I am very curious if the multi battle rank carries over between versions because, like, it's a separate save file and all the different games have different ranks. But at the same time, you know, these two versions can fight each other. So I'm not sure. I'll have to look that up. Hub style in the corner. Oops. I keep doing that by accident. It's like when I used to play with the Xbox 360, I would always hit the Xbox button, the menu button, uh, instead of uh, instead of the like start or pause button, because the the Xbox menu button's so big and centered on the controller. Yeesh. I mean, look. I'll say this. It could look worse. It doesn't. It doesn't. Like, it doesn't look. It's not the worst it could possibly look, but it's so noticeably like not. Like, it, it's so noticeably just like a, a smear filter, a Vaseline filter over the game. It's not great. 
Oh my god. Why, every time I go to hit select, what's wrong with me? I guess it's because I don't usually hit minus in games. Want to pick up where you left off? Want more chips? Try trading online. Someone's bound to have the chips you're looking for. Want more chips? Try trading online. Someone's bound to have the chips you're looking for. Say something, say something else. Want more chips? Try trading online. No. Someone's bound to have the chips you're looking for. You can connect with a net battler on the other side of the planet whenever you want. I'll boot up the gallery. Yeah. yeah I guess there's not a whole because everything here is unlocked from the beginning. Booting up. Like all the all the yeah, want more chips? That's gonna be the running gag with this game now. Want more chips? Want more chips? It's like the art gallery is already fully unlocked. There's not really much to unlock here. Yeah, Lan's uh, English VA in the anime was is the same person that voices uh. Light Yagami. Also, uh, also Amuro in, in Gundam. Alright, well, you can't go back to the title screen. So I'm gonna go ahead and close out, and we'll switch to, uh, Collection 2 here. Check that out a little bit. This one has some other interesting features. And again, I don't have the DLC for the menus and stuff right now. That's all. You need a code for that, and Best Buy hasn't sent me one yet. I'm surprised just fucking around this collection is, is taking this long. <laughs> Health warning. Some individuals may experience dizziness, seizures, or fainting. You can't read this before it goes away. Neobards Entertainment. I don't know who those are. I've never heard of them before. Please be aware the games this collection may contain some cases of insensitive cultural depictions. So that popped up in the first game, too. There are a few... There's a few instances of culture not being presented very well in these games. Battle Network 2... Mm. In particular, has a has a back alley that's supposed to be representative of certain areas of New York, and it's not uh, handled great. And also, Battle Network Five and Six have a not have a navvy that very prominently wears a uh, a headdress, which is generally not not a good thing. You shouldn't. It's not how not it's not a good portrayal, rather. Hey there, I'm Mega Man. I'll be your navvy while you play. Let's do this thing. Nothing like a net battle to get the blood flowing. You good to go? You know I'm always ready. What game do you want to start? What game are you gonna play? Yeah, Tom Hawkman's been a thing for ages. If we need to preserve history rather than erase it from our sakes. Yeah, exactly. I know Tomahawk Man's been a thing for ages, it's just, um... By today's standards, it's probably not really that great. I Honestly, I've said the same thing about Wing Kirby before, too. Because, like, I, I, I've heard many, many times that portraying, you know, portraying people in headdresses is generally not really respectful of the culture, and people people within indigenous cultures have said many times to, to not do that. But again, that's just that's just based on what I've seen. Uh, screen layout. We're gonna change it back to largest. Would you rather they? Yeah, some people got pissed in them, but like, would you rather they censor it? And I, I, to be honest, I wouldn't have cared either way. I'm just glad Capcom acknowledges it, and they acknowledge that some of the cultural depictions are insensitive. These backgrounds look pretty cool. These look way better than the first games. Also, Buster Max isn't here, like the first game, like the other one. Oh wait, no, that's because it's not in this section. Every time I jack out, I think about how relaxing it is to be inside the pack. Oh no, the the music, the. You good to go? You know I'm always ready. The quotes I'll are the same. Up the gallery. Booting up. So this game, yeah, this game has its own set. Use at least one download chip or patch card in every game. Use the music player to listen to one or more songs, complete everything, take part in 100 battles, earn your first S rank, program advance, every standard chip. 
A lot more locked achievements in this one. Complete Red Sun, Complete Blue Moon, Complete 5, Proto Man, 5 Colonel, you, the, Complete Liberation Mission 2 and 5, 3, 4, 5, 6, or every dark chip. Complete all event requests, including event cards and trade sequences in 6. And, and you earn your first virus battle win. Defeat Gold Mr. Prog in a virus battle. Use Heat Cross, Elect Cross, Slash Cross, Erase, Charge, Aqua, Tomahawk, Ground, Dust. Every time I jack out, Frog, yeah. The design of Wing and Return to Dreamland DX was a little bit better. Yeah, they changed it. They made it They made it to be more feather-like, rather than like a, a headdress. Still, they, honestly, I would like to see, because they've changed the design of some of the copy abilities before, I would like to see Wing just be a more bird-like appearance. That'd be cool to me. Okay. Uh, again, we got a whole gallery full of bonus stuff. Here's Mega Man in, a, in, in pajamas, for some reason. Land eating uh, rice made by Medi. Not Medi. Uh, what's her name? Jasmine. I didn't know. Oh, yeah. Roll. All the rolls. That's cute. Enjoy the only. Enjoy. Damn it. Yeah, enjoy the only Legends rep we're getting in a collection for a long time. There you go. Just use Dynablaze design, but make it Kirby size. Yeah, I would like that. Who's this dude? Um, this is from one of the mobile games, right? Oh, le yeah, Legend of Network, Ride Man. And his operator, nobody. D dude. This guy's banging. I love this. I love this, this this outfit. I really wish we could play the mobile phone games. Reverse. That's a cool map. Oh, man, these naggies are so cool. Why, why were these delegated to the friggin' mobile phone games that we never got? Cash? Sh Charisse? Hatman? <laughs> Jamming Man? Mr. Hat? That's th How many Capcom games have a character named Mr. Hat? Because Apollo Justice. Mr. Hat. There's a Mr. Hat in that game. Shoot Man, yeah. Yeah, they add. There's Legend of. There's an art from all the spinoffs in here. Cause look, there's um. 4.5 over here. They even call it MMBN 4.5 because we never had an English name for it before. Also, they fixed. They fixed this. It's no longer Spout Man. It is back to officially Aquaman now. Oh god, so these... So look how many... <laughs> they have the art for every patch card here. Including the download chips. The special cards. That's so cool. They, they put so much effort into this. There's my boy! Django, he's here. Konami. Burb. I like how it even tells you. The details of this card reflect that of the original. Custom plus one, Giga Folder plus one, B Power Attack. Yeah, so the patch cards are fully implemented in this for in this uh, collection. You can use them. That's him in high def. Official artwork. Okay. Who's this? Oh, the tournament announcer. There's Mr. Match pre pre villain era or post villain era. He's no longer mentally ill. This douchebag. A lot of cool stuff here. Falls are two. I know people fucking hate Circus Man. I, I love his design. I absolutely love his design. I think it's, his design's so cool. Not cool, but it's very it's very fun. It's a fun design. Evil clown, yeah. He's a clown with a literal circus tent for a body. Falzar and Greg, yeah. 
I like that they have the concept sketches too. Again, again, this is all stuff from the art books. I don't think anything here hasn't been seen aside from maybe some of the sketches. See, now this I think is fine. This, the Tomahawk, uh, well, this is Beast Tomahawk. I think this looks fine. There's nothing here I would say is like, oh, that's insensitive. It looks fine. And like standard, see, same with standard, standard Beast uh, Tomahawk Soul. It's just Tomahawk Man himself that I think would, would be probably would, would probably be good with a with a Shooting style up. change. There we go. So you can put the title screen theme as the back as the menu theme as well. I'm gonna actually do that because this background music was kind of repetitive. Naxa, yeah. Discount Clown Man. Oh, that's good. That's a hard beat drop right there. What game are you gonna play? Every time I jack out. I think about how relaxing it is to be inside the pack. You can turn it. Okay. Yeah. Take it away, operator. Whoa, that bat. Wh what is going on with the title? That's not what the title looks like on the GBA version. <laughs> Why is it flashing that quickly? In the GBA version, it's like a three-frame animation. Thought of a funny programming joke. In the year 2000X, we couldn't move past courier fonts. Yeah, it's running at 100 FPS. That threw me off that flat. Yeah, I know. It was so weird looking. That crime is the only cost of inconvenience. Nevertheless, the world is enjoying a time. Why am I reading this out loud? Enjoy the Naxa theme, by the way. It's very beep boopy. This game's music is very different from the other games in the series. This kind of tries to go for more of a uh, emulated, like, instrument type thing with some chip tune in it, as opposed to one through three and five and six, which just are like full chip tune. Also, this is this this whole second half has different graphics. Gee, it sure is boring around here. He kind of looks like CGI, CGI Link, doesn't he? Even here in Nax's outer space observe room. Listen to me, Shilly. Shilly? Is that what his name was in the... Wait, I don't remember that showing up in the original version. Shilly. No, I don't remember that name showing up. I'm very t okay. Hold on, I'm actually extremely tempted to to just do this. Give me a second. Where is it? Oh, it's on screen. Whoops. <laughs> Two instances open. Whoops. That was his name. How did I, how did I miss that? Anyway, if there was a character from Yumlin, would they be named Big Endian? Ah. This is the statue. I know. Boss, what's so funny? Why am I reading this? I get this wish very quickly. Get 
that all the rock experts in the world, including Dr. Hikari for some reason. Yeah, because Endian is a pro programming thing, and Yumland is, in, is, is supposed to represent uh, India. Exactly. It's a, it's a good pun. I will, I will give you that. Also, look, Land finally moved his computer in front of his chair instead of having it at the edge of his table. Also, he has a closet now, which he didn't have before. Ugh. Let's get out of here. Did he move? A little bit? Let's cl clothes and toys are stuffed in here. You'd expect to find test answers on top, but there's nothing. So what? I what is this then? What are those? They're two boys, and they look like they're having fun. Well, it's clearly not Lan. Put your PET on top of this desk. It's like Mega Man's bed. Those are graded papers, yeah. Patch cards. No, new SP Navi record times cannot be set while patch cards are enabled. Rare chip. Rare chip got. Is his brother's name still Hub? Yes. They didn't change any of the translation. Reception okay. Change your B weapon and a mini bomb. Grant you Z saber. Can only be used once per version. Oh, they ch they fixed the title. It's a Z saber instead of Z saber. Judging a field day with those patch cards, yeah. Secret chips. Yeah, they fixed it. It used to be called Z Saber, not Saber. Repleroid sword cuts three times. Secret. Three Grand Prix winners. Not winners, though. Oh, what? Why is Laser Man there? He's not in any of the Grand Prix. Fist of Justice, Met Knuckle. Yeah, Pepsi, Repleroid. Yeah, Repleroid's still in. <laughs> they fixed the title, but not the description. So, like, hold on. Fusion Red Sun only. Maintain the Gut Soul form. Maintain. Wait, does this just give you unlimited of that of that form? Mod address OE overwritten. Roll soul. Oh god, what is what is all this? All changes on. Custom reset. Oh, I'm guessing the patch cards affect different spots. Oh yeah, wow. I'm just permanently roll soul now. Oh, wait a minute. I see, so like... Wait, no. Oh, it tells you on the card what it modifies. Pre power is actually the three fan-created navvies. Oh, got it. I see, if you look at the card itself, it tells you what it modifies. This is like 300 HP, and it takes up slot OA.
Okay, and you could turn each one off separately. Okay, that's cool. So you can have up to six mod mod abilities at once. And just make Mega Man busted immediately. Yeah, this game does this. Viruses scan. Here, Navi and Higsby's free tournament and face off against other net battlers, Navi's. Except that Navi take part in yours. Yeah, so there's like a there's a thing in this where you can uh you can send your Navi with its current stats. Or you could send a Navi you've beaten that's version exclusive to someone else's. Uh, someone else's game, and they could fight them in the free tournament and get secret chips from them. Because each Navi in this game has, like, a special chip associated with them. In addition to their Navi chip, there's, like, an attack, like, Roll has her, her... This is also, also, by the way, this is the only game where you can actually fight Roll. Um, Roll has her, like, healing chip, her normal use, like, Navi chip, but then also she has the Roll Arrow chip, which shoots an arrow that can, like, break other people's chips. And getting that requires you to, uh, to grind. Very annoying in the GBA era. Kind of annoying here. The Wii Virtual Console version of it, the Wii U Virtual Console version, uh, what it would do is if you went to network, it would just give you those chips automatically. But that's also because there was no online battles in, uh, that version. Anyway, no one's using this. Um, I'm kind of worried about, the, about how online's looking here. I'm wondering if people are just, like, never gonna... Start using it on Moss and Moss on on that uh, end. Eh. Ayla Mal. Multicolored bread in the basket. Looks tasty. Oh yeah, so starting in this game, these programs all speak in capital letters only. Also, Land just said it's viruses busting time. The sound are the sound effects really loud in this version? Yeah, the chip system in four through six is a little different. There's no more add function. Instead, there's three blank slots at the bottom. And, and uh, now there's a little face of Mega Man in the corner, which comes up later. See, here he says virus busting. <laughs> it's weak, but fast. Oh, Mega Man. You do... You you, you underestimate yourself. Also, I wonder, because Buster Max causes flinching, so will that count as countering if I if I kill an enemy with it? Ooh, I'm gonna see I'm gonna see here, hold on. No, it doesn't. Did you see the enemy deleted text? That was like a smooth 60 FPS on that. Only in three. Oh. 
Oh yeah, no, no, I know that in 3, the Buster in general can counter. But I figured, because the thing is, when you have Buster Max on, it makes the bosses flinch. Because it does 100 damage and they get invincibility frames, which normally doesn't happen with Buster Shots. So I was wondering if Buster Shots may count for countering in uh, 4 through 6. It takes a second to pop up, too. A little weird. Then I've saved the world three times already. <laughs> the other thing, too, is that they... I'm Now that I'm look Like, after we play this for a bit, they definitely fixed the music issue. Because during early reviews, people were saying, um... There was a problem with the music where it would fade out instead of cut off properly. And because of that, you, like, wouldn't hear that short victory jingle. Because the battle music would have to fade out. And by the time it fades the other song in, the screen's already fading in. Back to the map. Also, I just noticed this. Look at, uh, look at the back, the, through the glasses. There's the background's miscolored behind Dr. Hikari's glasses. I don't know if that's intentional. Take a look at the emotion window here. This is a cool system, though. I will say, of all the things they added in the, uh, in the sequel trilogy, this, this function's probably one of the best ones. They don't tell you about it, but there's an anger status, too, which also gives you the same buff as, uh, full synchro. And you don't lose it when you get hit. You, what, was the word you capitalized? Could you have missed something? There should have been a boss named Huffman. Mega Man is pissed. Uh, yeah, we'll stick this. Okay, my timing is not very good. Counter won't work with area shit. Also, I love how the oven went from this big dungeon to this small square of, a, of an internet spot. Or cub patch. TV. Fix our oven for us. I like how they portray Lan as liking soccer, even though he's never played... He never plays soccer, ever. Also, just realize the patch cards don't take effect in the tutorial. It's a lot more rounded. I didn't show off the internet at all in, in uh, in, uh, in 3, did I? Ass! I got ass. Cool. Oh, look, I, I got an HP bug, though. That's interesting. I could heal on limited times.
that's expensive. It's 500 zennies. That's like five dollars. Patch cards are just busted, yeah. Well, now, see, like, I'm wondering, does it tell you what the, uh... Does it tell you what the, uh, effect of the patch cards is? It'd be nice to, like, have a way to, like, see which ones you've equipped. Mega Man just going Super Saiyan here. The nice thing is that you could turn them all off instantly, so that's good. So you don't have to you don't have to rely on those. And they're very easy to switch on and off. It is cool that they're there. I just wish they were I wish they were because they're listed by number, because they were released in a specific order. Or they were rather they had specific like card numbers on them. I wish that they because these are like these are fine, the way these are all labeled, but like these cards they go by number and they're not all like the same effect. Mega Man's color. That's interesting. I've never seen that one before. Oh man, there's so much there's so much fun shit you could do with this. Start battle with Life Aura on. Again, this will make grinding uh, chips way, way better. Way easier. I want to get into a battle now. It's quite, quite busted. Something's definitely up with the with the screen scrolling. Like you could tell it's not as smooth as it's in the GBA. Like it's kind of like you could see it's kind of like like jittering a bit. Actual character development for Lan. To send a work email, even though our PETs can just do that instantly, I'll have to go home and do something. Check. What's this? Uh oh. It's all in the data library. I'll check into your scroll if that's what it takes. I forgot what the regular selection set is. Man, you fucking dumbass, you've saved the world so many times. Anyway, uh, we're gonna stop for now because we got to the best part already. There's so many electrical store. Also, this this game has a very interesting thing. There's a name system because there's like a tournament. Again, I mentioned the tournaments earlier. It uses your name in the enemies' names. So, like, if you send like roll. If I name myself Zai, and I send, like, a, a copy of Roll over to someone else, it'll be, like, Roll Zai when, uh, when they fight them, just so it tells you who sent them. It can only be three letters. So thank God I have a nickname that's exactly three letters long.
about a change of pace. A change of scenery is always nice. Nothing like a net battle to get the blood flowing. I put Anne as your for, for the, your name for this reason. A N underscore. I don't know, I don't get why the Mega Man voice is so quiet. Like it's the only thing that's kind of upsetting. So wait, if I change this to uh, Japanese, does it immediately change the voice acting? It does. That's cool. And it does change the graphics, too, for, like, the title screens and such. So, like, here, for... Yeah. Oh my god, it's still... It's... The, the flashing is still bad. <laughs> I don't know why it's, why it's moving so quickly. But it does... The save file is the same. So, like, if I load here... Yeah, I'm back here now. God, look at that. Look at this font. It's just so much cleaner looking and nicer. Than what the uh, what the English version looks like. That's way better. Oh, yeah, you can tell the patch cards are fucking Mega Man up because he's got the uh, he's got the glitch effect going on here. You can't change the language while you're in the mode while you're in the screen. You can only do it from the menu. Is this Chi- I'm assuming this is Chinese. Yeah, that's Chinese. I could just tell by the way, uh, he sounds. So, I mean, I'm- it's, it's getting kind of late. I should probably just stop at this point, but... Want more chips? Try trading online. Someone's bound to have the chips you're looking for. Want more chips? What game are you gonna play? Um... Yeah, I don't really know. Like, I, I would have loved to just check out 5 and 6 as well, but at this point, we're just watching the beginning of all of them, and it's the exact same thing. I was thinking I would do the first dungeon of each, but, like, especially 5 and 4, it takes a while to get to those, and 3 as well. 6, I don't think, is that long, but I, I probably don't have enough time to get to it either. I will show off a couple more things, though. We got this! So this, this has something interesting on the title screen. You'll notice that uh, it says press plus button immediately. In the GBA version, this title screen notoriously takes a while for the press start thing to come up. It usually takes like four to five seconds before you're actually able to enter the, the new game menu. And that's because it's checking for the GBA uh, wireless adapter because this game does use it for several things, including a crossover with Boktai, which... While the crossover isn't here, the crossover mode isn't here, all the benefits of it are here. Who can those two be? I wonder. See, now I feel like the music is too low. Also, that's the, uh, this is the game with the progress PET. I have one of those in real life. Uh, I just got it a couple weeks ago. It's fun. entrance.
this game changes the menu again to, to this to this nonsense. It's, it's nice though. Look, it looks nice. So the patch cards available are different. These aren't the same. They're, they're different from the previous games. Damage blindness bug. Oh, I see. Disables air shoes. HP minus 5%. This has a different system, though. This uses MB instead. Look at this. Just items. Just free items that you could get. Receiving succeeded. Get that BN6 dab patch on there. <laughs> These chips are new to the GBA versions. Technically, you could get these in the uh, DS version. Uh, leader Raid. Ca I don't know if you get Chaos Lord, but you could definitely get Leader Raid. Special cards. Oh god, only 50 HP now. Yeah, so the custom screen is the custom screen is like really different in this one. So this is where you get to see what what's effective, and then if you do that, yeah. You can't actually pick the modify option though. Mods, and then you lose. I think you lose access. To, oh no, once you use it once, you get access to it. These were never in the English version. Do you get Toadman and Team Protoman, etc., with the cards? Yeah, I believe this just lets you. It, it'll just give you all the cards if you use it. Item cards, let's see. So who's not in, uh, who's not in Team Protoman? Uh. Colonel, obviously. Barrel's Tactics. Land got, Land got three of Colonel's Navi chips. And there they are, in secret. Slice enemy in same row. So again, you could get these chips pretty easily by using these cards. Hatred formed into base. <laughs> Protoman and Colonel together. Together at last! Again, though, I'm pretty sure these chips are supposed to show up in the library. I don't know why they don't. Or if they're not, if not, then at least the secret library. Stew recipe, kitchen comp, area two. Yeah, the internet gets kind of weird in the second trilogy. Like the way it connects to stuff is is different than the first three games. It's not uh, it's not done amazingly well. Looks like beef stew for dinner tonight. And again, they they switched uh, fridges. They now have a big red clown shoe color fridge. tutorial land viruses are invading your web page well you land forgets this after like all these games, even though... So I've, I've gone into this... I've gone into this before. Technically, 
the entire Battle Network series only takes place over the course of two years. Because in the first three games, he's in fifth grade. So it's presumably from, like, April of, of fifth grade up until March of the following year. Because then he starts sixth grade at the very end of three. And then at the end of six, he graduates sixth grade because he's going to junior high. So it's presumably the entire series is taking place over the course of 24 months at the maximum. And, uh, it's very funny in, in that regard. Because it's like, he goes through all this shit so quickly, and yet he constantly forgets. Also, is this, is this button normally just blank at the bottom? I thought there was, like, nothing there. Maybe I'm just imagining things. Yeah, the enemy deleted thing comes up a little too late in this version because they changed how it worked, the animation works. Yeah, I thought I had Unite printed for when souls come in. Uh, see, now I gotta look. Oh, uh, you know what? No, it's late. I'm, I'll look later. It's the same shit. It's the same shit. Look. I, I hate to put... some back there. Thank you, I quit in the middle of the tutorial. That's not what I would call awesome. So how well did you do at, the, at that BN3 tournament? I got up to the semifinals. I think it's online. Let me see if I can pull up the YouTube link for it. It's a long... It was a long thing, too. It was on... Uh, let's see. Watch later. Where's my favorites? Womp, 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 womp. Tired there, Mega Man? N1, N1 Grand Prix NYC Meetup Part 1. This isn't the whole... Because they filmed the entire thing that was going on here. But, uh... I know one of my matches... Side Beast Greg, yeah. I know at least some of my matches are there. Because some of the matches were done off-screen... I think I got into one match that was actually broadcast that I won, and then I got into one that I lost. I believe. So when I streamed this, I only streamed Gre I streamed Gregar. I did not stream Falzar, which seems unusual for me, but I the Gregar version just seemed more appealing at the time. I've played Falzar before, though, when it first came out. Every time I jack out, I think about how relaxing it is to be inside the pack. I know this is terrible, but I'm going to turn the filter on just to see what this one... Because I, I didn't even see what they look like in the new uh, style here. Take it away, operator. Oh, it's so weird in here. See, this looks fine. I mean, that still is quick. That still is faster than it normally is in the background there. Falzar's glow. Oh my god. That looks terrible with the filter. Look how bad that looks. That, that does not look good. Okay, see, this looks all right. I'll say that this look, this the newer style of the the four through f four through six look better with the filter on. Not better than the GBA versions, but they look better than the first three games do, because the bright colors and the um. And the redone art style kind of lends itself to being smoothed over a little better. But man, those face those face portraits are not good. Also, Land now sits in the far right uh, 
row instead of at the front left. sound coming from somewhere. I don't know where. Oil filter. Yeah, it's not great. It's not a good filter. Again, Capcom puts this in every single collection that they've made, and it's not... It's never amazing. I mean, look at the... Did you see when it was fading in there? You could see, like, the pixels getting smeared. It's not like a CRT filter. Like, like that, I feel like, well... That's better for old school games. I mean, I feel like... See, that's what I feel would work better. Like an authentic CRT filter. Like how, like, you know, when you play Chrono Trigger now, you see it all pixelated, and it's like, oh, it looks okay. But then when you see it with a CRT, like proper CRT effect over it, it's like, oh, this was clearly designed to be displayed in a CRT TV because it's blending the pixels together. In fact, I believe the uh, pixel remasters for Final Fantasy do that. It has a filter that, like, properly act emulates a CRT and actually does make the pixels look blended. This just looks like they kind of, like, smeared... Yeah, they smeared, like, Vaseline on the screen. And then it looks even weirder because then the text is still, like, high quality and actually redone, even if it is Courier. He calls them Pops. Yeah, no, it's not good. Like, that looks nice. This... <coughs> This was the point where the DS was already out, so they designed this for a bigger screen and, like, to be played on the Game Boy Player, so it looks nice pixelated. Anyway, uh, story of the last game, spoilers, Lamb moves at the very beginning, and he has to meet a new cast of characters for his last adventure before the end of the- before the series got cancelled. It's not even that it got cancelled, this ends properly. This game has a very, very definitive ending for the series. Anyway, biggest, um, biggest thing with 6, 6 is probably the most exciting one in terms of the English version because this is built on top of the Japanese version. Also, look at the, this nice new menu. It's very, very sleek. It actually, you can see through it. It's cool. This is built off the Japanese version, so this version actually has stuff that was cut out of the American version. Pretty much all the Boktai stuff was cut out. There are entire internet areas that have been restored. There's maps on the internet that you could use to, like, get, go around. Stuff that was not here, originally, is all back and, like, restored properly. So for people playing this in English, this this is the first time a lot of people will be, uh, will be experiencing this stuff. Also, for this game only, they changed Mega Man's, uh, default battle sprite. Like, he now, he now is hunched over a bit more. Remember, you can't use Famous as Shop while fulfilling, while fulfilling the quest. Why don't you take on a new request? You need access to Graveyard 1 or the Chaud's Mission item card. Yeah, so there's some weird stuff with how this, this card works. This requires you to do something specific that you either need to have access to a specific area, or you had to you, you have to have Protomance chips. And the thing is, you can't get Protomance chips in this game until well into the post-game. So, like, they actually purposely write on this thing that's like, okay, you need to either use this card now to get these chips, or you need to wait until the end of the game to get the chips, because you're not getting them now, otherwise. Check it out after you visit Greentown for the first time, yeah. In the English version, these quests are actually just available on the board to begin with, but the Japanese version, you have to use the cards. That said, there is apparently... There is something specific... Um, in, this, in this version that you cannot use. There's a way to, like, upgrade the other navvies you can temporarily use in this game, and apparently it's not implemented into the collection at all. It's, it, it utilizes something called the Beast Gate, which was an accessory for the GBA, but it's just, it's just not here.
So yeah, the customized parameters in this work the same way. Uh, and you... Yeah, the way... It doesn't work like slots. Instead, you have an MB limit. So yeah, there's that. It's cool. Wait, wait. I'm just done looking at the patch cards. It's kind of what I'm most interested in here. Grant you a thousand zen. He's going to use one. Lands allowance advance. Look at this guy's pride. Gives you full custom guardian O meteor. Man. Grant you one of each sub chip. Grant you super Volk V. That's a that's a. Uh... Oh wait, no, that's not a, a mega chip in this game. It's a, just a standard chip. Grant you a program. Aquaman's chips. Charge me. Yeah, it's like it's you, it's just everything. You just get everything. What happens if I try to, like, put, like, another huge card in here? Not enough memory. Ah. Shrubby. Ferocious Beast Power. Falzar's Ruinous Tornado. I don't think... Like, I think, unlike other super chips, you can't get the other version's super chip in this. So, like, you, you need to be playing Gregar to get the Gregar chip. The data for it is in the game, but it doesn't work pro like, it, it doesn't look right. It, the, the symbol's wrong. And I know this because even the patched version of the Japanese version of 6, uh, that, uh, that people have made does not have the chip in it properly. I mean, obviously the chip data exists because it has to be compatible with multiplayer battles, but still. Anyway, uh, there's data again. Also, Lance House has a bathroom in it. New House's toilet is a high-efficiency model. It gets rid of nasty mold and fills the air with minus ions. House is completely different, yeah, because he lives in a new... He, he moved. He's in a new town. Little garden. Center garden. This game, okay, this game has the fade out. That's interesting. Why is it only this one? Like, listen, you could hear the music fade. That's not how the other five games were. Look at this. These people have a swimming pool on top of their house. And these people have, like, a little center garden. Very fancy. Yeah, they moved. They moved at the beginning garden in the middle of the house. Talk about a modern design. Burb. Oof, bathtub. Roof, we're calling a shopping roof, roof, roof shopping cot. The jacket animation in this one is cool, just because of the- it makes the little navy symbol. The dog, they put bugs in him. Oh damn, never seen these guys before. <laughs> it's the same shit. Three Metools, or Metors, yeah. They're only called Metools in the first game. Anyway, you know, it, it's not even worth going through all this. It's, it's the same stuff. We've seen it. I will say, though, there is one thing that people have found. Uh, the... What's next? The Double Soul, or the Cross Soul, as it's called in 6, Menu. Like when you press it up to get to equip one, the art for it's very high quality. Like they've, they, like that's high. Th those use like a new image, and they're specifically like redone. It's so weird. Like some stuff is is shown in high quality during gameplay, and most of it isn't. That's why I don't understand why the chip images are not h the high quality chip images. Who called quiz? Who called quiz? It's quiz time. 
Come on and do it. Very nice. I was wondering what that sounded like in English. Uh, but yeah, I mean that's um that's kind of the overview. Yeah, it's the Mr. Quiz, because there's a quiz guy in every game, and they have like a, jing a specific jingle in Japanese, and then in English, they kind of have one, but not really. But it's really cool they had him record that <laughs> as like an idle sound. Now he's going to do it again. Again, the sound balancing in this is very, very awkward. I don't know why it's so why it's so off, but yeah, I mean that's that's kind of Mega Man Battle Network collection. I'm surprised that I was able to just futz around in it for three and a half hours and, and not actually accomplish much. But yeah, um, if you're interested in this, it is available on Steam, PS4, and Switch. I don't think it's on Xbox actually. Um, I'm watching your matches. I'm sorry. What are those folders? Yeah. I don't remember. That was years ago. That was 2018. It was right before I got my job. But yeah, uh, if you're interested, these are available. Each volume is available for $30 each. It is $60 for the full version. It's pricier than the other collections, but given that, you know, they've added all the online infrastructure and they've got all this, like, high-quality stuff in it, a lot of work was put into it. It may not be the optimal version of the, of the collection that we could have had, but it's serviceable for what it is, and it's certainly worth the time to put and money to put into it if you have not played the series, or if you just want to play them again. Or if you want to play them online, because it's the only official way to do it. Um, I will absolutely recommend getting the first collection first, if you're if you're on the fence about it, and then get the second collection later. Uh, and also, if you're not... If you're not obsessed with having everything on the Switch like I am, maybe get go with the Steam version, because the Steam version you'll be able to mod the text back to normal. And also... There's probably more people online on the Steam version. Zeta PAs in 2018. Look, to be fair, that copy of 3 is not from 2018. That's from 2003 when it came out. I'd never changed my folder in like 15 years after I beat it. So that's like the same folder I was using in 2003. I still won some ma I still won a match. More than one match. One of them wasn't televised or broadcast. Uh, none for now, uh, Mega Man. I think we're good. But yeah, uh, that was Mega Man Battle Network Collection. Again, I, I may come back and do multiplayer battles. From the looks of it, it's not too active right now, so maybe that's something to come back to in the future. Uh, I really hope the online scene for this lasts, because, uh, I don't want to not reach Omega rank in half of these games. Um, but yeah, uh, definitely look into it. Pick it up if you're interested. And, uh, yeah, you could come to me. I'll tell you all about Battle Network. I could, I could tell you every little intricacy about this series because I've, I've played it so much. Uh, thank you so much for coming and keeping me company tonight. Really appreciate it. We had a lot. We had quite a few people here, actually. Um, that's cool. Uh, I will be back. Um, I mentioned this before. The charity stream I had planned this week, because of yesterday and this week in general, I didn't really get a chance to, to hammer it out. I will absolutely do it next week, don't worry. Again, I'm going to be gone on Saturdays, so setting stuff up is a little difficult. If I'm back Sunday, I'll finish Metroid Prime, and then we'll see what happens this upcoming week leading up to Advance Wars. And, uh, yeah. If you want to watch more streams, check out twitch.tv slash team slash wildabandoned. Plenty of people streaming there right now. You all have a great evening, and I'll see you maybe Sunday, otherwise Monday. Good night.